Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Shopware multi vendor Marketplace and in the previous video we showed you how to install the Shopware multi vendor Marketplace plugin, how to configure it and the, and the user registration as a seller at the web store front end. So in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you the vendor account options and the workflow at the vendors end. Apart from that we'll also be showing you how a customer would be able to place an order for the seller's product and how the seller would be able to check that particular order and uh, how the vendor would also be able to add his own products within their own account panel. So uh, let's get ahead and uh, let's see how uh, a vendor uh, would be able to configure the different options under his own account panel. So for that I'll be taking you to the Shopware uh, multi vendor Marketplace web store front end. So right now I'm at the uh, Shopware web store front end and I'll be uh, logging in to my account uh, as a seller. So for that I can tap on the marketplace and tap the login button or I can also tap the my account option and then tap on the login button. So uh, anyway it work, will work the same. And here uh, I need to enter my email address and my password from my account and I'll be tapping the login button here on the bottom left hand side and this would uh, log me into my marketplace account so here you can see that I've already logged in and on the left hand side we have this block where we have the basic options like the personal data addresses orders apart from that we have this, uh, the marketplace options as well for example the seller profile the seller's product the product that the seller has uh, added would be visible under the seller products we have add product option wherein the uh, seller would be able to add multiple number of products and we have the seller orders wherein the seller would be able to check the orders that have been placed for his products so uh, let's go through each uh, one by one so uh, the very first thing that we'll be doing is we'll be setting up the seller profile so for that uh, I'll tap the seller profile option here and this brings up the section for the seller's profile and here we'll be uh, able to customize the profile of the seller we can set up an avatar we can set up the short profile uh, con content we can set up our shop name we can also provide our Twitter and Facebook ID or our social uh, IDs as well and we can set up our logo for our company and we can set the banner that would be visible on our profile page and lastly we can also set up the main description for the seller so let's get ahead and let's uh, fill these uh, uh, info and uh, after that let's see how the profile gets visible at the front end uh, to the seller or to the customers so uh, let me uh, choose an avatar first so I'll tap on the uh, choose file option and then I'll just navigate a bit back and here I'll go to a section so I'll select the logo or and I'm sorry for that uh, we need to select the avatar file so uh, it would be this one then we can set up the short profile So I will set up the short profile, we will set up the shop name, so I will set it as uh, web shopper, we can set up our twitter id as well, our facebook id, uh, we can set up the logo for our company, so I will set up the logo, we can set up the banner. So I'll select a banner for my company and we can lastly set up the description as well and now we'll tap on the save button to save the profile of the seller. So here from here we can tap the web store button to see what how the changes uh, appear at the web store front end. So here you can see the web shop and the shop name uh, of the seller and the seller name so i'll tap on that 
So here you can see uh, that we have the banner, we have the logo, we have the avatar with the name shop owner and we have the about, the content we set up there. Right now we haven't edited any products so there are no products visible here and under the seller reviews no reviews have been provided so well, there are no reviews so we'll be showing you these as well. So that was how you can set up your profile and uh, let me take you back now. Let's go to our account menu options. Now let's add a product for the seller. So uh, to do that, we need to tap on the add product link. I'll open that up in one new window. And this brings up this section wherein uh, a seller would be able to add his products. So uh, we'll set up the item name. Uh, we'll be selecting the manufacturer. Uh, we'll set up the item number. It's like the SKU. I'll set it. So I'll set the number as 6325. We can set up the floor. Basically, the floor is the uh, quantity of the product. So I'll set it as 150. We can set up the description for the product. So I'll, uh, as this is just a demonstration, that's why I'll be using this uh, uh, demo text here. Then we can set up the short description as well. Then we can set up the prices according to, according to the store customer or the dealers. So we can set up the price for the store customer 150 and for the dollars. And for the dealers, we can set it up as 120. We can add an image for our uh, product. Basically, you can add multiple images for your product. So uh, for the time being, I'll just add one. After the file is uploaded, you need to select that file and it would appear here. Then we can set up the value added text and uh, we can choose the categories where this uh, particular product would be uh, visible and available. And we, lastly, we can tap the save button. So uh, let's check, we have uh, filled in all the information. Yes, and let's tap the save button. So this would uh, add the product uh, and the seller would be able to check this particular product under the seller product section. So uh, here you can tap this icon here, this uh, button and navigate to the seller products. Otherwise, we have already this product open. So here you can see the quantity is 150. The status for this particular product is active and under the action uh, column, we have the edit button to edit this particular uh, product so let's tap on the blue watch and let's see how this product gets visible at the store front end so here you can see uh, we have the blue watch with uh, with the categories also visible there and the shop name and here we are on the product page here is the logo of the seller's uh, web shop and the name of the shop is there the price uh, we have the details for the shipment we have the article number so from here we can tap the in cart to add this product to the cart and we can also change the number of uh, or the quantity of the product that you want to purchase so uh, that was how a seller would be able to is uh, able to add his product and here you can see the description and the product information is visible the default tax that we set up uh, in the configuration and apart from that you can also see the last scene options are visible here so uh, that was much about how a seller would be able to add his products so uh, let me take you back and let's go to the uh, home page and uh, all right let me go to the seller profile so we've already set up the seller profiles we have seen the seller product section where we have all the edit products that the seller ha has edited and we have the add product section where the seller would be able to add his uh, products. Now, lastly, we have the seller orders. So for that, what I'll do is I'll just uh, go ahead and I'll make a purchase because the uh, seller is also a customer. So uh, I won't be creating an, another account. So for the time being, I'll be making use of this uh, account to make a purchase of my own product as well. So I'll uh, be searching the product that's the blue uh, watch the uh, product page and uh, let me add three quantity of this product into my cart so uh, I can tap in cart button here 
uh, this adds the uh, particular quantity that I had selected so to go to the checkout I can uh, tap the to checkout button here otherwise if you want to edit the shopping cart we can tap the edit shopping cart button so for the time being what I'll do is I'll tap the to checkout button and uh, this would take us further so as to uh, complete our purchase so basically we need to select the terms and conditions first so I'll check this button here we have our billing addresses there and uh, we have the payment and shipping also added there standard shipping and we have the details of the item that we are going to purchase with the total number of uh, items the uh, value added tax is uh, visible there and the total so uh, lastly to place the order we need to tap the agreement to pay for the order you are placing button here on the bottom right hand side and uh, I've tapped this uh, particular button to place the order so uh, here you can see that the order has been placed at the demo shop so we can print the order confirmation as well otherwise we can go to our account section to check the details of the product of the order sorry so here uh, what we can do is we can go to the order section and that would display the order that the seller has placed so uh, here you can see that uh, the order that you have placed and the details we can also tap the show button to check the details of this particular order and we can also tap on the repeat order to repeat this particular order now if uh, now we see this as uh, from the seller's end then we need to navigate to the seller orders section so here the seller would be able to see the orders that have been placed for his particular products so here you can see the order number the order date customer who has placed this particular order and uh, we have the details tapping that up brings up the details of this particular order with the billing shipping details the payment details the product that the customer has bought with the name quantity price and total and the order status as well so after that the uh, seller would be able to change the uh, order status after the seller has shipped the products so uh, that was much about the uh, vendor account options that we showed you so under the account options the seller would be able to set up his uh, profile page and uh, he'll be also able to add the products with the products uh, the seller also would be able to view the particular orders that have been placed for his uh, uh, products within the multimedia marketplace for the shopware web store so uh, that was much uh, for the uh, today's uh, video and i hope that the that it helped you so if you have any questions or queries regarding this uh, particular multi vendor marketplace for shopway uh, e-commerce platform then you can always get back to us at support at creativewebcool.com or you may raise the ticket at webcool.ubidas.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead